I think American history is rich, I think, and we have to deal with the good, bad, and the ugly. I think Americans should be very concerned if professional trained teachers are being kept from teaching uh, their students to think critically about what has happened um, in the past in this country. This nation cannot heal its divisions by pretending those divisions don't exist. No doctor is going to tell a patient to ignore an injury in, because that injury is unpleasant. The great irony is that the bills that are supposed, on theory, to prevent divisiveness are the ones that are actually designed to, to promote it. Stop. you got to relax uh, and let the children learn and let the teachers teach. History educators are not teaching students to hate America. They are not looking to sow discord or division. They're working with their students to understand the past and to help them ask questions. Students need to be able to understand the world they're living in and the legacies of slavery and racism, of sexism, and other types of exploitation and inequality are essential for them. When they look around the world, they're not going to understand what's happening. And to prevent teachers from teaching those things is really doing a disservice to the students. It is important to teach about the black experience because to me it's the issue of cultural intelligence. What I tell my students all the time, as the world becomes increasingly global, as the economy becomes increasingly more global, the world becomes more racially, racially and ethnically diverse. It is important, uh, I would say, for students to understand, to be able to connect with people across racial boundaries. Everything has a history and everybody has a history. And if people don't understand the histories of the communities in which they work, and the people with whom they work, then they will not be able to work or live effectively. Slavery was a part of American development. Uh, it wasn't an aberration. Enslavers were not a regionally isolated group of bad apples. They were Americans, they were proud Americans, and they practiced American law. They were part of American culture. And you can't pull their story, you can't pull the story of slavery apart from the history of the United States. The authors of most of the documents that uh, are central to the founding of the United States were men who owned, bought, and sold humans. They lived, they grew up in a society in which it was legitimate and even expected that some people would own, buy, and sell other humans. It is impossible to understand what they wrote if we don't understand the world in which they grew up. If you do not talk about the role of race and racism, particularly when dealing with American history, then I don't know what version of the past, what version of American history you're actually teaching, but it ain't the one that actually occurred. The history of, of, of race and slavery in the United States uh, is a history of all of us. To me, that's a history of unity. It's not a history of, of divisiveness. Uh, so I have, I have a very difficult time understanding the kind of the kind of fear that this stokes. My question back to them would be, you know, what, what are you scared of? It is absolutely imperative that Americans, whether they are parents of school-aged children or members of communities who do not have children in the schools, uh, to resist uh, the legislation, the resolutions in front of school boards that, that prohibit teachers from teaching the history of the United States in an accurate and useful way. If they can call their local representative, if they can go to a school board meeting, if they can present the case of a full and accurate historical education as being the best course for everyone, then wherever they do that, it will help.
The study of history, the study of anything, should make us a little bit uncomfortable, of course. But we should want our children to lean into the discomfort that should be caused by studying American history honestly. You should be uncomfortable learning about the institution of slavery, learning about enslavers, learning about the horrors uh, that occurred uh, in the Jim Crow era with lynching and these uh, uh, um, racial massacres. Asking tough questions about ourselves, about our past, is central to democracy. It's what we do as Americans. It makes us stronger.